Welcome to the Wednesday, April 22nd, 2015 edition of Erner Berry's Market Video, sponsored by Erner Berry's Prospector. In today's video, we'll take a look at how the avian flu is beginning to impact the poultry sector. Then later, we examine the latest turkey slaughter numbers. But first, with this week's crop progress report, here's your host, Jamie Chadwick. In the latest crop progress report, the USDA shows the primary corn producing states are 9% planted as of Sunday, April 19th, up from just 2% the week prior. Texas boasts 51% of their corn planted, while North Carolina reports 40%, nearly doubling progress from the week prior. Kansas is 23% planted, while Illinois is up 15% from the previous week. Of the 18 primary corn producing states, all are on the board with the exception of Pennsylvania and North Dakota. We could even see corn emerge figures as early as next week, according to the report. For continued coverage on the 2015 crop season, subscribers should check out the news link in Comtel. Next up, account manager Adam Sharkey reports on how the current strain of avian flu is impacting poultry and egg producers. Poultry producers in several states are bracing for more bird losses as a highly pathogenic strain of the avian influenza forced producers to kill millions of chickens and turkeys in the USA in recent weeks. Iowa, the top U.S. egg producing state, found a lethal strain of bird flu in millions of hens at an egg laying facility in Osceola County on Monday. The worst case so far in a national outbreak that prompted Wisconsin to declare a state of emergency. Some 5.3 million chickens are housed at the confirmed farm and reports indicate 3.8 million birds will be euthanized to try to prevent the spread of the disease. Meanwhile, Hormel Foods has already said that the bird flu outbreak will hurt sales of turkey on its Genio Turkey store unit as 17 turkey flocks owned or processed by the company have been hit by avian flu. For more news related to the bird flu situation, please visit foodmarket.com. And finishing up today's show, we have poultry market reporter Terrence Wells with a look at the latest turkey slaughter figures and how they are not adding up the way they might have been expected. As recently as last month, the USDA forecast for 2015 RTC turkey production targeted a 5.5% increase over 2014. At almost 6.1 billion pounds, that figure would exceed 2012's total, which was when slaughter proved excessive, supplies mounted, market values fell, and cutbacks through 2013 and much of 2014 were prompted. The April 2015 USDA forecast has been reduced to a 4.7% year-on-year increase, but some observers are wondering if that's low. Recent events focused on, but not limited to, high path AI have resulted in turkey slaughter not adding up. Our chart depicts the year-to-date RTC equivalent, which is up a little more than 3% from last year and well below 2013. Looking ahead, as HPAI confirmations continue to surface, processors are doing what they can to satisfy needs. In some cases, that means bringing birds to slaughter before reaching their targeted weight. And that, too, will likely keep the RTC numbers from reaching forecasted heights. Thanks, Terrence. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Prospector Online is a must-have tool designed to help you explore and evaluate new business opportunities in the protein market. Customize searches based on a specific criteria that fits your needs. Call or email us today to learn how you can unlock the possibilities at prospector.earnerberry.com.